For the first time in decades, brain cancer patients have a new way of treating a certain portion of that disease, thanks in part to innovative research at Duke. The FDA recently approved a new drug providing an alternate to chemotherapy and radiation. WRL health reporter Grace Haba spoke with those at Duke about the journey to get here 16 years in the making. 16 years ago, in labs hundreds of miles apart, Dr. Daryl Bigner with Duke and a team at John Hopkins could only hope a gene mutation discovery would lead to a new cancer drug. I have been working on malignant brain tumors for uh, 50 to 60 years, and uh, it's extremely gratifying to finally uh, have a breakthrough that we know is going to help a significant number of patients. And 16 years ago, Rebecca Richmond had no idea one of those patients would be her. I have an 11 year old daughter. When I was diagnosed, she was three years old. So a lot of it goes through your mind of the things that you could potentially miss and the things that you want to prepare her for that you might not be around to do so. The Durham mom was one of the first patients in a clinical trial to be given the drug vorasidenib for treatment of her low grade glioma. There's this mutant protein, this IDH mutant protein. It produces essentially a chemical that causes tumor cells to grow. And what the drug does is it actually inhibits that mutant protein. The drug was shown to help slow tumor growth, giving patients like Richmond more time and another option besides more chemo or radiation. It seems to be working great. You know, I'm able to function, carry out work as normal. I'm grateful for every day. I'm blessed with every day. Don't take anything for granted. It's a triumph years in the making. It really gives it gives me hope. Grace Haba, WRAL News. Wow, that is remarkable.